my little fizzies and welcome back. Today I'm doing my boxy Lux unboxing. So whenever I received my box, it was about three weeks ago, and my box came just like this. Cut open. I did not cut this. It came cut open. I saw that my Boxy Lux had been delivered. Boxy Lux is $50 every three months. You get it instead of your normal Boxy Charm. I'm getting ready for work and I tell my husband, hey, my Boxy Lux was delivered. We go down to the office and get it. We live in an apartment complex in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And he said, yeah. So he took, he went downstairs, he got my box and he bring it up to me. I'm trying to finish getting ready to work getting ready for work. I have to be at work at 11. It's probably 10:45. I'm about to walk out the door. He brings me my box and I'm like, I want to look at everything real quick because I've been waiting. I want to see what color lipstick I got. And he brings me the box and it's cut open. I think that's weird. So I open it up and I look at everything inside and I pour everything out and I realize I'm missing two items. So I am missing both palettes that were supposed to be in the box. I am missing my face palette and my eyeshadow palette. And I tell my husband, two of my items are missing. The two things that I was most excited to see. I want to see what Morphe palette I got. I wanted to see if I got the light or the deeper face palette. Because I know that they were having some confusion. Some people got different shades. Those were the two things I was most interested in. <sighs> They're gone. So I told my husband and he said, well, the girl downstairs at the office, this box wasn't where they keep all the other boxes. They usually keep them in a separate room with a locked key. This box was in her office. It was in a drawer in her office. I'm very frustrated. So the next day, because by the time I got off work and went to the office, they were closed. So the next day I go in there before work and I said, my box was open whenever I got it and two of my items were missing. Did they happen to fall into your drawer where you kept my box? She's like, we don't keep boxes in drawers. Your husband is confused. No boxes, no, none were open. And I said, well, my box was cut open and two things were missing. No, 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 nobody here took anything out of your box. I don't know, did you contact, did you talk, contact your box? And I'm like, yeah, I contacted BoxyCharm and I'll see what they say, but I just wanna check with you guys first because my box is, you know, this isn't like it just fell open. It was cut. It was cut open by someone. And they were like, no, we don't keep boxes in drawers. I don't know, your, your husband's confused. I said, okay, I'll just contact BoxyCharm. So, contacted BoxyCharm. A week later, they got back to me and said, they have a shortage on palettes and they don't know what to tell me. So, I'll leave their full response down below. Something really generic like, oh, sorry that you're missing two items. We're having a shortage with a lot of the palettes. We've run out of them. And, you know, we'll see what we can do. I've emailed them twice since then. No response. The, my husband went down to get the mail, and they're like, oh, did your wife ever find those two other items? Because we don't know what she's talking about. And he's like, no, she didn't. So. I didn't cut it open. I don't have the two palettes. Either the office girls downstairs are lying straight to my face, and they stole my makeup. Or the postman, you know, he cuts open makeup boxes all the time and steals stuff out or maybe it was the person at BoxyCharm who decided to box everything up and tape it and then cut it open and take two of my items out. I don't know who it was. I have no proof that it was the downstairs girls who work in the office but this isn't the first time a box went missing. A few months ago whenever I was getting um, Degusta box one of my boxes went completely missing and it showed delivered and the office girls were like Oh, well, we never got that box, so maybe it's still at the post office. So then I had to go to the post office. And the post office, like, it was delivered to your apartment complex. I go back to the apartment complex, and they're like, we never saw it. So then I had to contact Augusta Box. They were super cool about it and sent me an entirely new box. And I've only been at this apartment complex for five months, six months, and this is the second time something's happened with my mail. I don't even get that many deliveries anymore. I used to get a lot more boxes if you guys have been with me for the last couple of years you know I've unboxed a lot of boxes so this makes me want to not even get any more boxes until we move into a house which means I'll never be on YouTube but 
am just very frustrated. I don't know what else to do. I've contacted BoxyCharm. I've talked to the girls in the office and they just deny, deny, deny. So you guys tell me what I should do because I did not open this. This came like this, but that's why I haven't done this unboxing yet because I've been waiting to see if these two items magically show up or if BoxyCharm was going to send me replacements even though it's not really their fault unless someone at BoxyCharm boxed up my stuff and then cut it open. But anyways, I'm just irritated, but let's get into the unboxing. So this is BoxyCharm's BoxyLux box. It's $50 and it comes with 10 full size items, allegedly. So let's get into it. And there is a card showing us how much everything costs and the value of the box. So the first thing I did receive is limited edition lashes from Lily Lashes. I do not wear lashes, so already something that's going to a giveaway, going to be given away. But the Lily Lashes are $24.99, so $25, that's half the box right there. The next thing we did receive is a makeup bag from Boxy Lux. And this makeup box, this makeup bag has a value of $20. Sure, why not? Why not, BoxyCharm? This I will use. I like bags. That's why I have Ipsy still. Um, but this is actually a pretty big train case. It will fit a lot of things in it. So I will find something to put in here and something to use it. It looks like the paper is actually stuck to the bag. So let me show you. I'm trying to rip off this paper and it is stuck to the bag. So, I don't know. $20 might be a little bit much for a bag that has paper stuck to it. So, can you, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. And also, this string right here. So, this bag seems a little cheap. Does this happen to anybody else? The paper is, like, stuck to the bag. Anyways, it's pretty. It's gold and it's rainbow. I don't know if I would put rainbow on gold, but this is an actual BoxyCharm bag and it is pretty big. So maybe I could use it as a lunch pail, maybe? I don't know. It'd be a cute little lunch pail. So I think that's what I'm going to use it for if I can get the rest of this paper off of this bag. So yeah, $20 lunch pail. Sure. Okay, why not? The next thing we've received are two Moda brushes. We have a powder and a soft glow. These I will actually use, actually use. And this has a retail value of $29.99. It seems kind of expensive for Moda. But let's open them up and feel them, because then we'll know. Let's open it up and feel them. They're pretty, they're rose gold. This whole, this whole box has a rose theme. If you didn't catch on already, it's La Vie and Rose. So everything is rose or rose gold. Like. These are rose gold, these are rose gold. That bag was rose gold. So these feel really nice. And this is highlight, maybe? Highlight? I don't know, they feel really good though. So I will go throw these into my makeup box right now. Let's see. I missed, I got close though. The next thing we received is the It Confidence in a Cream, which I do have the small one of this. I do like it. It is thick, so sometimes I will cut it Cut it with a little bit of um, like a serum or a thinner moisturizer. But this is she she thick she a thicky. The smell is nice. The feel is nice. I do enjoy this, and I did actually think about buying the full size before I realized we are getting it in this box. So this it confidence in a cream does go for. $48, so that itself is the full size of the box, the full price of the box. So the fact that I got this and the motor brushes and the lunch box is worth my $50. And we still have some other things in the box. The next thing we have is by Deborah Lipman, and it is a, um, why can't I talk? I'm just frustrated. It is a nail polish duo, and this retails for... Um, $20, so it makes them $10 a piece, which is pretty normal. Um, nail polishes can get expensive, so 
And these are two shades that I will use. They are kind of rose goldy shades. This is Modern Love and this is O'Donna. So I will definitely paint my nails and I never paint my nails so I'm excited to paint my nails. I'm going to actually probably throw away all my other nail polish because it is old AF and keep these and just paint my nails these colors because this is this will go with everything. Um, these are really pretty shades. The next thing we received is another bummer. It is the Becca lipstick but it is in the shade Mocha which is a dark shade I will not wear. So I already told a girl at work I would give this to her but I will just show you guys. These Becca lipsticks do retail for $24 and this is the shade. It's just it's too dark for me so I will be giving this to a girl that I work with. I was hoping for another color. That's another reason why I waited to do this unboxing to see if one of the other girls that I work with got another color and they would trade with me. But I'll just give this to a girl that I work with. I'll give this to Tegan. So if by any chance, Tegan, you're watching, you are getting this lipstick. The second to last item we received is this Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. And this is Be Original, Be Iconic. And this is in the shade Medium. So let's see how this looks. I do have pretty light hair now and light eyebrows. But let's give this a whirl. And this... Let's see how much this is. This is $40. I wasn't expecting that. It is a very pretty case. It is very reflective. And that is what it... You can't see that. It has this little dual end brush. So one end is for getting the product on and the other one is for cleaning your eyebrows. And let's open her up. Maybe $10, $15, but $40. Sit down, Iconic London. <laughs> pigmented though, very, very pigmented. I barely stuck my fingers in there. So you would need a, just a tiny bit of this and I think it's going to be way too dark on me, but I'll just have to try it out and see. I already stuck my fingers in it, so I'm keeping it. I'm gonna find a way to make this work, but it's very pigmented. So let's keep that shut. Let's close down this little brush and put it back in here. But that is the Iconic London Eyebrow Cushion. Let's see what it says. Let's see how it says to use this. It says, give your brows the wow they deserve with Iconic Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion. The innovative two-shade liquid brow compact allows for fuller looking brows with half of the effort. The highly pigmented liquid formula glides on effortlessly while the angled brush makes for a precise application each time. Hashtag Iconic Lux Rose. Sure, why not? <laughs> the last thing we received is the Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. I'm not a fan of peel off masks. I have it, so I will use it. But this is by Wonder Beauty, a box staple. All boxes love Wonder Beauty. This is $34. Okay, sure, why not? Let's see how it smells. And it is sealed. Safety seal. We're singing Abdev safety seal song. Smells nice. So I will use that. Um, I just put peel off masks all over and then wait and then wash it off with water because I'm not peeling anything because peeling hurts AF. So this is the purifying and brightening peel off mask. But I'll wait the 10 minutes. I'm not going to lift off. I'm not going to peel. It will tear out my hair. So I'm just rinsing with water. But that was everything I received because I'm missing two items. But please let me know down below what you guys thought of this box if you will subscribe. I have been subscribed to BoxyCharm on and off for like three years and this is the first time I had any problems with it. And I can't say it's BoxyCharm's fault. It's my apartment complex. So that is another reason why I'm working so many hours. I started a second job. So I can pay off my debt and move the F out of here and buy a house and not be in this apartment anymore. Goodbye. So I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye guys.